So today I'm going to do a layout from this kit that I have here. And let's pull this out. Um, this is the June 14th page maps from Becky Fleck. And you can get these at pagemaps.com. I'm sure everybody knows that already. Um, I'm actually going to be using this one right here, the 12x12 12 12 single. And I printed it out big. This is kind of my road map, my guide to my layout. Let's get all the stuff out of the bag. There's a lot of little things in this one. And let's start with the base page, which I'm trying to get to. Let's see. Alright, so this, I don't know what this is from. I think this is from a dollar store paper pack that I got years ago. Dollar store doesn't even sell paper packs anymore. But this is going to be my background. On the sketch there's a printed background, so I'm using this one. And it's kind of flowery, but I don't know, I just like the graphic on it. And then they have a solid. So then my solid is going to be black. Now the sketch here has four, like a grid, four different ones. I'm not doing that because I don't have two photos like this. My photos are this one and this one. So that's, I'm going to, my daughter did this, um, she drew this poster in her English class and she had to do a speech about the books that she read for English. So I'm putting her speech here because she wants to keep her speech. She's very proud of this. So I want her to have that memory. Um, now for, for this part here, I have this paper, uh, Creative Imaginations Mixed Sources. And it was, a, it was a full sheet, and I cut it up, and the back is like that. I cut this one up, and I'm thinking I'm going to put this over here. And then I cut a strip off the bottom of it. There's a strip here. And I kind of like how that looks, so... I did that. Now, as far as for the letters on this one, I usually use thickers because I have a whole lot of thickers, but I found this typewriter font and I printed it out onto white cardstock and then I cut out the letters um, that I needed for this. And I'm going to put them here. I'll probably ink around them in black or pop dot them up. I'm not sure yet, but it's going to say English because this was for her English class. And as far as for the speech that are on her note cards, I was trying to think of a creative way to keep it without making a pocket. Keep it on there without making a pocket. So I had scraps of gray that I used to mat these. And they're two different grays, but no one will ever know because there's 50 shades of gray. No. No one will ever know because you know, they're they're the mats. You don't always have to match everything so perfect. I'm just trying to use my scraps and use up what I have to create my layouts and get them done. So to keep these speech cards together on here, I'm thinking I'm going to put them like this and hold them down like that. And I'm going to use some brads to do that. So I'm going to put these brads in here to hold down these cards so that the cards will stay in her 
scrapbook. I might have to tape a few of them. I'm not sure yet. But that's how that's going. And then up here. Okay, so I wanted wings on this layout because the main character or most of the characters in this book series have wings. The only wings that I could possibly think of that I had were in the kit that I've been hoarding forever. Um, fancy pants. And this is Mulberry Road Line titles tags. And this kit I've had, I want to say, eight years now. And there was wings in this kit. So I'm going to put these wings up here. And it's at first I was bothered that they had hearts, but I think it's okay that they have hearts because she loves this book series. So it kind of kind of works out for me that there are hearts on there. Now next, this, me and my big ideas um, sticker sheet, 99 cents. I don't know where. I found this in my stash as well. And I cut out this one that said writing assignments. And that one is going to go there. And then I was looking through a little box that I have of doodads. And there's these hinges, like office hinges. And I'm going to put those there. Now these stickers you can dress up, which I'm going to do. The sticker actually has um, like little screws on there. So because I have screw brads, I'm going to put the brads through the sticker to make it a little more like 3D-ish. Dressing up the stickers. You can always dress up your stickers to make them more current. Especially if you want to use up what's in your stash. I do it all the time. Works out great. Let's see. Let's put those right there. And the journaling will go here. I'm going to let her journal. Now that she's old enough, she can do her own journaling. This pencil. I've been trying to put this pencil on a few layouts. I think I want to put the pencil there. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put it this way. I think I want to put the pencil here. And I think I need to find some smaller letters to write my speech. I don't know. But as of right now, that's what the layout is going to look like. So here's the final layout. I had to cut the wing off over here because it was off the page, but I'm okay with cutting stuff off. You get the idea about the wings. She's going to journal here. I dressed up these stickers with brads and I put the brads here to hold her speech. I had to staple it together because it kept like wanting to fall out of this little, and I'm not sure this little band was a good idea and it's kind of bubbling so I don't know if I have to undo the brads and pull it some more but I took these letters and I popped them up and inked around them it says English and then I took the same sheet that I had and cut out speech because I figured why not let's use it all up instead of trying to get some more different letters and I finally used this little pencil sticker that I've had forever I've been trying to put it on a lot of layouts lately um, and this is the layout she's gonna do her journaling here and there it is this uh, black cardstock which I didn't mention earlier is a basil and it's raven. But yeah, this is the layout. I'm happy with it.